All right, boys and girls, today is Wednesday and you have a new reading and writing activity. I want you first to go back through one of the videos where we dive deep into our reading and talk about what the Everglades is and all the different animals that live in the Everglades. Once you go back through and refresh your brain on those two things from our reading, then you're going to go through and you're going to pick one of your favorite Everglades animals. I really would like you to choose one that you have already talked about on your T chart from Monday or your Venn diagram from Tuesday because you wrote such important information on those animals that it will be helpful for you today. So, I would like you to choose your favorite animal from what you have already written about Monday and Tuesday. But if you absolutely have to pick a new one, that's okay too. You'll just have to go back and think about all those details just like you did the other animals. So your activity today is you are going to take your information, you're going to pick a favorite Everglades animal, and you're going to write that in a mind map. Now I know you guys know how to make your mind maps. They're bubbles that you write information in, right? Now you're going to make your own mind map. I want you to be able to create this mind map all on your own without printing out anything because you will have to make your own mind map one day when you're writing an essay. So you'll create your big bubble in the middle, and in that big bubble in the middle, you'll write the name of your favorite Everglades animal. And then in the small bubbles around the middle, you'll write all the reasons that animal is your favorite. Now I want you to use your T chart from Monday and your Venn diagram from Tuesday to help you and guide you to write the reasons why in your bubbles. You thought of all these cool details about the animals, how they look, what they have on their fur or skin, where they live. You thought of all kinds of things about these animals and those are all really good reasons to write in your smaller bubbles. Now you'll see, I have reason one, reason two, reason three, and reason four. You're gonna need to fill in all four bubbles with reasons why you picked that one as your favorite. And when you're done, I want you to put this in a safe spot that you can have it ready to share during our class meeting today at three, because we're gonna make a big chart all together of everybody's favorite animals. So I cannot wait to see your amazing work. Keep up all of your effort today.